focus. It is the new technology for taking a child's temperature or, or to be able to record the temperature uh, of things in our life, like, you know, that cup of coffee or how hot is the baby's bath water. And it's not invasive. I, I remember the way mom used to take temperatures. Not pleasant. Yeah, no. This is sale price to $36.40. We've got it on Easy Pay as well, which surprised me. It's five Easy Pay payments. All right. This isn't the gift you give to the toddler. This is the gift you give to the toddler's mommy. Or the caregiver. Right? Yes. Right? Because a lot of us in our lives today aren't just taking care of us or our children. Sometimes yep. it's our loved ones. And with the Vizio Focus, it's the only non-touch thermometer that also does projection. Yeah. And there's also a really cool thing with it too, is there's these dots. And the dots you'll see in a second allow us to have consistent and accurate temperatures no matter where we're using the device. So it takes out the guessing game of, yep. do I have the device far enough? Is it too close? Did you take the temperature and it was and one temperature and I did I do another one? It allows for consistency, it's amazing. ease of use. Uh, this is Dr. Mark Legere. Welcome back, my friend. It's good to see you. And I don't normally get a chance to see you in fourth quarter. Yeah. Okay, the technology, and these are the two little dots that he's talking about, mm -hmm. okay? Those two little dots here and here use a form of infrared. NASA utilized the same basic tele uh, information on like the Hubble telescope to be able to determine Stars. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's a it's just mind blowing technology. Well, do you want to you want to show you want to use my forehead? You wanna, yeah, let's you, use your forehead. Okay. If, we, if we could actually take a second here, what we yeah, do? Yeah, my forehead's a little bigger, but that has nothing to do with. Well, that. what you'll see in here is there's two <laughs> things that you can measure, and like you touched on, Dan, we have the face, so that's for reading a forehead, and then right. we also have a house. So the house is for, like you said, the household temperatures and things like along those lines. Bath water, bath cup water, of coffee. Cup of coffee. Yep. So all we're going to do is we're going to hold the device out. Now, this is what's crazy. Forehead. I don't see anything. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to calibrate it first. It's going to be calibrating the air around us. And then what we do is when we come in, you'll notice that there were two dots on Dan's forehead. Okay. So the two dots and the temperature right and between turn it. There it is. Can, so can the, the camera pick it up? So the two dots between let us know that the temperature is at the right distance. And then if we want, we can zoom out that temperature so it's no longer seeing this. Remember those little small thermometers yeah. where you're holding yeah. it up? It's now allowing you to be able to use this in the dark so you're not interrupting the patient. And I you didn't can make feel, the view I large. didn't see anything. I didn't feel anything. Mm -hmm. uh, do you remember the old mercury thermometers that we had mm -hmm. to shake? And nobody could read the darn thing. And that upgraded to this, right? Yep. This was the digital thermometer. Well, there, no, there was one in between. There was one in between. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the, temp yeah, but the, no, the reading yeah. is still so small in here. But as you can see, let's go over here. And like we touched on, let's see how accurately we can measure this cup of coffee, right? So we kept it, the temperature so between the dots. it's 127.5 degrees. Now we let it go. And I'm, I'm going to try to... And it'll keep Because I can read it crystal clear and I need reading glass. I think it might be our camera. Can they read that? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so look yeah. how large we can make that reading. That's amazing. Right? So if we wanted to measure the temperature of our nice chilled wine, okay. we're holding it. We keep the temperature between the two dots. Keeping it between the dots keeps it consistent. We let it go and it'll keep that temperature. And look how large we can make that reading. And this is technology that we had not seen before. Right. Okay. And it's the only one on the market. It's the only one you'll find at QVC that is a non-touch. That means no spreading of the germs. Right. Right. right we right. don't want to be checking yeah. one of our healthy right. family members and end up getting them sick. What a we do regular is we thermometer is the dumbest doctor. You've been dealing with this forever. But when you've got somebody in your family who you think might have the flu and you stick, first of all, something glass under their tongue mm -hmm. and then put it away, knowing that the next person that gets to be sick, even if we clean it, puts it back into their mouth. I'm germaphobic, that disgusts me. Well, and it's hard to be able to tell when you're taking the temperature of a child, do they actually have it under their tongue? Because right, to get right, the right. temperature accurate, they're having to close their mouth. I've got a six month old baby granddaughter. Congrats. Who, by the way, and don't argue with me because I'm completely right, is actually the cutest kid on the face of the planet. You're the one. Except Congrats. for my other granddaughter who is equally as cute. <laughs> but when she gets sick, she gets fussy mm -hmm. and it's so invasive with a regular thermometer and by the way you can read this yourself in the mirror sure yeah you can take it on yourself you can and then, then shine show it on the wall. the mirror yeah, yeah you shine yeah. it on the wall but it's the, again the consistency it's the of coolest the dots thing. the consistency of the dots a little, a little forward a little in right little there in, right there 
The temperature is between the dots. Now let it go. Ready? And there it'll keep it. So now you can shine it on the I'm table. I'm 90, 94.6. Yeah, shine it on the table. So you can actually 94. see 94.6. So you can actually see the temperature in a very large format and it's consistent because let's say that- What is normal? Well, so 98.6 is normal. Okay. On here, we want to have it between 97 and 99. It's a pretty decent range. So okay. if you're between 97 and 99, so I'm just a little, a little, a little below normal. A little below normal. Might uh, say but at least I'm consistent. Might say you're cold hearted. Well, I, I, believe me, a little below normal. I've been hearing that since high school days from the counselor. But what's yeah. going to happen? Yeah. So Dan, when you normally take a non-touch thermometer, there's no gauge to tell you how close to properly hold it. So you can't. So you're guessing. And by the way, with a non-touch thermometer, the difference of a centimeter, that's, that's so small I can barely make that difference between fingers, is a difference in the accuracy of the reading of the thermometer. That's exactly right. And so as we touched on earlier, when we go in and we're doing our measurements, here's our cup of coffee, I zoom it in, the temperature is now between the dots, right. that means it's accurate. We can go in and look again how large we can make that. We don't need to put on our glasses. We don't need to get it into the light. We don't need to turn on the light in our patient's room. We can come in and say, ah, I like my wine chilled, 65.5. That's fantastic. And again, look how large we can make that reading. I, for anybody who's got someone in their family, it's not just babies. My father is 96 years of age. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, he's still doing great. But we all know that, that he's going to need a little bit of assistance soon. Sure. And as a caregiver, you want to be there to help them without bothering them. I remember being woken up mm -hmm. by my mother for her to take my temperature when I felt crappy. And what's most important when you're getting over a cold sleep. or a flip is sleep. Yes. And it's so, to, yes. you, know, you don't have to tiptoe in and then all of a sudden turn on this blinding light. You can go in, you can take the measurements of a patient, you can keep a consistency, and with the memory function on here, you can keep track of nine patient, different memories. Yep. Is the patient getting better? Yep. Or are yep. they getting worse? And is this a phone call to the pediatrician or a phone call to the doctor? Or is this something that it's worth it's, it's information. I'll tell you, our cars, the instrument panel on our car gives more information about what's going on inside that automobile than what our bodies ever give us. This is now the temperature gauge for the human body. And it is the best gift for moms. It's a best gift, especially for mothers of, of youngsters. And all you're gonna have to pick up are two AAA batteries. I had never seen this before. It's using the same type of technology that, that the greatest minds in science used to develop to create the Hubble telescope to determine the temperature of stars. And all with That's the push the of a button. That's the coolest thing. And all with just the push of a yeah. button. You have so much technology packed into a button. Yeah. And to give us our health. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, and thank several hundred ordered today. This is the very first presentation that we've made it available here at QVC. Don't wait on this. By the way, brand names, they're important. There's a reason why brand names like Conair has become so popular.